All right, so I don't know if I'll do it today, but this is the package from it. the lower ball joint for what else? 2007 Ford Focus. So you get the ball joint. Uh, uh, so it's a degreasable kind. Just make sure that all the hardware. So, all right, we got. I think that's the pinch bolt. One. Three. Three for that. Three. There that. And a nipple. Not the kind you pierce, but the other kind. And a pinch bolt. Which it's kind of cool because the one I got on there is rusted right out. Last time I had to take uh, take the knuckle, or when I was doing the half shaft, the CV axle, and uh, it was pretty bad. So I guess a, that's a bonus. I don't know. Like I say, I don't know if I'll be doing this today. I got to grind out the, the factory rivets. So I don't know if I feel up to it today, but uh, if I do, then I'll film it. So take your take your tire off and just unbolt the caliper and bracket all together and hang it up somewhere here so it don't kink your holes. Take your rotor off. Then we're going to loosen up the ball joint bolt right there. We're going to bang out the ball joint. Swing the knuckle bit over and we'll take it from there. Uh, so guys, when you uh, get your bolt sanders, I couldn't find no specs for it. So I just tighten it down pretty tight. Um, when you put this bolt on, it's 180 foot pounds. Uh, the pinch bolt is 50. Um, so I'm just going to jack, gently jack up the lower control arm so that ball joint will um, pop into place here. And then I'll put the pinch bolt on. All right, I'll tell you, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, put the tire back on, torque everything up, but I do not think that that, uh, that was causing the trouble, even though I was pushing on it and it seemed like it had movement, but it didn't, so we'll see, i keep going, it might be, uh, maybe it's the, uh, something to do with the, the strut, it's new, uh, new, uh, sway bar in looks uh, tie rod seems good so we'll see I'll let you know if I find out what it is uh, all right guys uh, you know it would have been sort of simple I was expecting a little bit of difficulty because this is factory factory uh, rivets that's on this uh, ball joint and there was a bit of movement in this ball joint but you gotta I don't think it's as bad as let me see if I can hold the camera here you know what I mean I don't think it's too bad Actually, it seems to be pretty good, but since it's off now, I'm putting a new one on. There is no grease in there. I mean, the 
boot is, you know, it's not tore or anything. I don't think it was the ball joint. Well, 30 bucks, why not? But if you are going to be changing this on a focus, right, you'll see a, a rivet like that. And the same thing on the bottom. You got to grind him off, right? Grind this off as flat to this as you can without damaging it too much. You know, you're not going to damage this. Who cares but where it goes into? You might, you know, skim the top, but try your best. And with a lot of swearing and a lot of uh, hooplon and a lot of wishing, and a little bit of throwing a tantrum or two. Then having a fit. You might get it out. Um, you need uh, a big hammer. Because that's what you're going to end up using. At, you know, if your luck is like mine. But uh, if you can grind those down flat. And you'll see an, an imprint of this circle. You can see, you'll see an imprint of the circle, and you'll try to beat it out. Put some wood under the the, the ball joint so that, you know, you're not taking all the force with the hammer on the, the rubber uh, seals or whatever is in the lower control arm. Bushings. Yeah, I, I'll get there. You know, stick with me. But, um... Yeah, I wasn't centered here. I, I tried the best I could, but there's no threads. So you ain't got to worry about if you're nicking the hole on the side. It's just that you don't want to make it too big, right? Because the bolt goes in. Those bolts go in and tighten up. So, yeah. But if you're going to do this, um, I could have swore this ball joint was bad. I mean, this is factory and it's a 2007 Focus. 